an inspirational insider look into their creative process. CODA National Leadership Conference. Good evening. Our speakers tonight are best known as the Coke and Mentos guys, but their specialty is finding creative ways to turn everyday objects into extraordinary things. They've won four Webby Awards, two Emmy nominations, and their internet videos have been seen over 150 million times. The New York Times has called them hilarious, and Rolling Stone called them wizards. Will you please put your hands together for Stephen Voltz and Fritz Groba of EPBird. EPBird's presentation helped make our event in Las Vegas unforgettable. Web Trends. Good evening. I'm Stephen. And my name is Fritz. And we are experts at doing stupid things. There's a myth that creativity is just for artists, that there's, there's two kinds of people, creative people and the rest of us. The right process unlocks creativity in everyone. So we're going to talk tonight about the process that we use, 1, 10, 100. You can be creative in what you do and find something really unforgettable. With these tools, we can take our own ideas to new heights, truly inspiring. Main Center for Creativity. This is just a methodical process. There's no genius involved. We don't believe in genius. We believe in hard work. The myth of creativity is that Experiment 100 comes to you with some kind of bolt of inspiration. We've never seen that. But what we can do, and what you can do, is use the process step by step by step to move yourself from 1 to 10 to 100. So where do you start? Experiment 1. Experiment 1 is just that raw idea, something that tickles your interest, that makes you want to explore further. When we were working on sticky notes, we went to Office Max. We left there with a carload full of stuff to play with. In particular, we were fascinated by these zigzag pads of sticky notes that are made for pop-up dispensers. And we kept coming back to this slinky thing. Kept being fascinated by it. Well, after three days, three whole days, it finally occurred to us to try this. That was it. That was our experiment one, something that we were excited about, something that we wanted to work with. The key for us when we've got an experiment one that we want to explore is variation. We try and find as many twists on the basic idea as we can. So with Coke and Mentos, yes, the geyser goes out of the mouth of the bottle. That's awesome. What else can we do? Can we split the geysers in two? Can we spin them on uh, Lazy Susans? Can we swing them on ropes? We tried all of that stuff. The goal at this point is not quality. It's just quantity. Just don't try and be brilliant. Try and make as long a list of the different variations that you get, as many different variations as you can think of. That exploration brings us to our next benchmark, which is Experiment 10. Experiment 10 is a rough sketch. This is quick and dirty. This is the duct tape version. We want to show you just the beginnings of an experiment we're working on now. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. <laughs> so that's 20. Imagine 200 or 2,000. Highly entertaining and deeply insightful. Fred Lip, director, Bernstein Scherr. So tonight we're going to look at four of our tactics for taking it all the way to 100. Be obsessive. You want to obsess about your experiments to the point you become the world's leading expert. So if you're going to take your experiment all the way to 100, you're going to hit some bumps along the way. Be stubborn. We're taught as kids to be afraid of failure. 
And that lesson goes all the way from the classroom up to the boardroom. Too often, it's safer to do nothing or say nothing than to try something that might not work. But if you do nothing, you'll never find those great solutions that are one or two or three steps away from where you're working. The next tactic is be extreme. For us, that usually means go big. What happens when you have 100 of them, like we did with Diet Coke and Mentos? What happens when you have 250,000, as we did in our sticky note experiment? Often, just changing the quantity will change the quality of the experience. Our fourth tactic tonight for getting to 100 is limit yourself. Creativity flounders without rules, and it flourishes with them. Think inside the box. Give yourself parameters. Limit the possibilities. Get focused so that within that box you become the expert. So remember, there are no geniuses. There are only people like us and like you who can simply get down to business and step by step use a process like this to create something that is uniquely yours and truly unforgettable. We are all creative. There's as much creativity inside each of you as there is in either of us. All you need to do is find your experiment one, move it to your experiment 10. You know how to do that now and take it to your experiment 100. We know it's gonna be unforgettable. As, as Thomas Edison once said, if we all did the things we are really capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. Thank you very much. The audience loved it and the proof was in the standing ovation, Great Falls Forum. I wish every maker could hear this presentation. Dale Doherty, publisher, Make Magazine.